Okay, welcome back. Let's do another example uh, related to uh, distance written time. So again, we're going to talk about leisure sports now, leisure or sports and leisure. Okay, in the 2016 Summer Olympic Games, Usain Bolt of Jamaica won the men's 100 meter dash in a time of 9.81 seconds. Okay, 100 meter dash. Okay, so let's write this stuff down. So one of the things I always do is write down the information that they're giving you. So we're talking about a 100 meter dash, right? And he won it in, what was it? 9.81 seconds? Yeah, 9.81 seconds. So that's the distance, right? Obviously 100, 100 meters. So distance time is 9.81 seconds. All right, okay, so let's keep reading. In the 1964 games, uh, Bob Hayes of the United States won the same event in a time of 10.0 seconds. Okay, so 1964, uh, the time was 10.0 seconds. All right. Suppose these two champions could have run against each other at those same speeds. How far behind in meters would Hayes be as Bolt crossed the finish line? All right. Okay. This is a good one. So, this is going to be a two-part problem. So, first of all, um, Drawing a picture helps, right? So if they start here, here's they start at the same place, and they go to the finish line, right? So obviously at the same speeds, um, obviously Bolt, Usain's uh, Bolt is going faster, right? So he's going to cross the finish line first. So let's say they're both going the same distance, but Bolt is going to reach the finish line before Hayes. Okay, so the question is, is when Bolt reaches the finish line, how far behind is uh, Hayes? Great question. So now, We know that he's going to cross the finish line at 9.81 seconds. Okay? We know that they both can go, so it's going to take a Bolt 9.81 seconds to go 100 meters, right? Whereas it's going to take Hayes, it took Hayes 10 seconds to go the same 100 meters. Okay. Which means, if we take the rate of Hayes, what's, his, what's Hayes' rate? The rate of Hayes is going to be the distance that he, that he went, distance over time, right? That's the formula. So what is the rate that Hayes is running at? It's going to be 100 meters per what? 10 seconds. So his rate is 10 meters per second. That's how fast he's running. Okay? Now. Bolt is going to cross the finish line after 9.81 seconds. So that's how much time t uh, Mr. Hayes is going to be running. Okay, that's the rate he's going to be running during the same amount of time, right? So for 9.81 seconds, so the time is going to be 9.81 seconds that Mr. Hayes is going to be running. 
Okay? So in order to find the distance that Mr. Hayes was running, we're going to use the formula D equals RT now, right? So we used R to find the rate. Now that we got the rate of Mr. Hayes, now we're going to use D times RT to find how far he ran while, uh, at the point that Mr. Bolt went from the, finish, the starting point to the finish line. Okay, so now that's the first thing we're going to do. So let's do that. So that's going to be the rate, which is 10 times 9.81. So that means what? 98.1 meters. Right? And again, think of the units. This is meters per second, right? Times meters, or excuse me, not meters, times time, times seconds. The seconds are going to cancel, and we get meters. So that works out. Okay, so now, the question, again, we didn't answer the question yet. The question is, is how far behind in meters was he? Well, if this is how far he was when uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Bolt crossed the finish line, then how far back was he? Well, you have to take the 100 meters, right? Minus 98.1, right? Which gives you 1.9 meters. 1.9 meters. So that's the answer. Mr. Hayes was 1.9 meters behind uh, Mr. Bolt. Have a great day.